Hey, it's Matt Noss, and today I want to talk with you about three things that you need to know if you've been arrested for shoplifting in Washington. You know, most people in this situation have never been in trouble before, and you're probably feeling scared about what this is going to mean for your future. So here we go, three tips. Number one, you need an attorney right away. Even if the police don't give you a court date, we need to get to work on your case. You know, with the right preparation, it's actually possible to get your case resolved in just one court hearing. Number two, the law allows the store to issue a civil demand, which is kind of like a fine. Now, I always tell my clients not to pay it directly and to send it to me instead so that we can try to work out a settlement. You know, oftentimes this brings the cost down and we might even be able to use that payment to get your criminal case dismissed in court. Number three, for misdemeanor theft, the maximum penalty is 364 days in jail, but it's really uncommon to see someone get jail time for a first offense. Look, this is really about your reputation. What do you want an employer to see when they run a background check? We need to do everything we can do to keep a theft conviction off your record. Look, I know that the criminal justice system is probably unfamiliar territory for you, but we've had over a decade of success helping our clients protect both their freedom and their reputation after a shoplifting arrest. I know we can help you. Just give us a call to set up a complimentary case evaluation to get started.